Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clarington Kia. Behind me, I've got a really exciting car. This is a 2021 Kia Telluride SX7 passenger, black on black, beautiful, beautiful family SUV. I can't wait to show you all the great features on this car. Let's go take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, grab a cup of tea, maybe get a coffee, get some chips and peanuts because I'm gonna take you on a tour of this 2021 Kia Telluride SX and I'm gonna be quite honest with you, there's a lot to cover. This is my favorite vehicle that Kia sells with arguably maybe the exception of the Carnival SX, but I'll let you decide what you like better. I like an SUV, but the Carnival, man, cool car too. Anyway, I digress. This is gonna go through the exterior and interior features as well as the condition of this beautiful Telluride. And let's jump right into it. So underneath this amazing looking hood, we have a 3.8 liter V6 engine, got tons of horsepower, you can tow 5,000 pounds, but it's still a Kia through and through. It's still got fantastic fuel economy for you and the family so you're not burning gas driving to the cottage, driving to hockey, or whatever it is that you're taking the family. And as we start off the tour on the front, take a look at these gorgeous headlights. We have that nice amber uh, turn signal indicator lit always on there as your daytime running light. And then we have the LED headlights, which you can see here, that's super bright white at night. And then we've got the nice, um, what do you call it? Silver aluminum trim there. And then we have the LED fog lights down below too. So that way, if you're taking the cottage roads where there's no street lights, it's gonna light up really nice and bright for you. You can see we have the hood deflector on the top here with the Telluride badge nonetheless, making it look very cool. And then this beautiful SX grill with the Kia logo. I mean, it's just in fantastic condition here. As we come around to the driver's side, you can again see those nice details on the headlight. And then taking a step back, let's take a side profile of this Telluride. This is a great size SUV. This, I mean, it's not a small one. It's not a compact. It's not a midsize. This is a full size SUV. It's a full seven seater, but it's got a great design characteristic. It's bold. It's just boxy enough, but there's some nice round lines on there as well to keep it, um, for lack of a better term, feminine. It's not, you know what I mean, right? It's not like chunky. It's not the Tesla friggin, what do you call it? Um, Oh man, anyway, Cybertruck, that's it, <laughs> I digress. So on the SX, we get these beautiful, beautiful 20 inch alloy wheels. They look fantastic. They've got the nice gunmetal inserts there as well as the polished aluminum on the sides. Really looking great. We've got lots of tire tread left there as well and nice Michelin tires to go with it. Now we've got the LED turn signals in the mirrors. We have that nice chrome trim around the windows, the door panel, and then even down here below the doors, we get that nice aluminum trim to make that contrasting black paint just look that much sharper. We've got the silver roof, uh, roof rails up top as well. Get some cross rails, put a kayak up there, put a bike up there, whatever you'd like. Um, and you can definitely make this a full function family utility vehicle. Around the back, those LED tail lights looking really sharp. We have that Telluride badge all the way across the back tailgate as well. And then we have our SX badge here. Now, back bumper inspection looks really good, right? But there's only one thing here, one thing. And don't be too alarmed. We do have a dent here in the tailgate. We have something coming to fix this. Hopefully by the time you get here, it will be gone. It's, you know, a couple days anyway. We're gonna get this all cleaned up. It's gonna look fantastic. We're gonna have just this little, little scar here, right? Just a little scar for a memory, just to make sure that we remember that that happened to use the rear cameras and the rear sonar when we're backing up. But this part here, the metal part, the most cosmetic part will be cleaned up and look fantastic. So rest assured, right? But I wanted to bring this video so that way you guys could see this car before all that is done, because hey, why not? Now, the other thing too here is just a little, little bit of paint imperfection on the back bumper, right? So what does that tell us? Just use the security and the safety of the car, right? It's got backup cameras, it's got rear sonar. I don't know how that happens, but that's okay. Accidents happen, that's what mistakes are for. Now we do have a power tailgate as you saw here and on the key, we've got our power tailgate there and even a remote starter here on the key fob too. Two key fobs with the vehicle, just in case you're wondering. 
Now in the back, you can see with that third row up, we still have lots of room here. You could definitely fit a couple overnight bags, a full size luggage if you need it. A hockey bag, no problem. Lots of room back here for you and the fam and whatever activities you have going on in case you're taking your kids and the neighbor's kids and their best buds. And that's usually what happens, right? Let's be honest. It's never you with four kids. It's your two kids and their little wiener friends that you drag along with you. That's okay, that's what family's for. Underneath here, even more storage, right? Little hidden cargo compartment there, maybe a roadside kit, maybe, uh, I don't know, whatever else you want. Let's close her back up and continue our tour around. On the passenger side, it looks just as nice as the driver's side. I don't see any dings, dents, or scratches here to really tell you about. And then we're gonna go take a look at the rear seats, including the third row, so that way you can see what the family gets treated to back there. Now, as far as safety features go, this Telluride SX has all of our advanced safety features you could possibly think of. I'm gonna list them off. I'm not gonna explain them. I'm not gonna explain because there's so many of them, but we do have forward collision warning with turning junction assist. That's a cool one, that's a newer one. This Telluride has it. We have lane departure warning with lane keeping assist. We have lane follow assist. We have rear uh, cross traffic alert. We have rear emergency braking. We have forward collision warning, forward collision braking, uh, emergency braking. We've got blind spot warning with blind spot assist. We have uh, rear occupant alert. We've got so many safety features on this Telluride to keep all seven passengers safe that it's incredible. Um, definitely research online the Kia Advanced Safety System so that way you know exactly what you're getting. This is a very, very safe and very advanced vehicle for you and the family. That's my uh, 30 second pitch on the safety features for the Telluride. Now back to the fun stuff, but look at the interior on this Telluride. Can you see why I get so excited about this? I'm not even a rear passenger and I get super stoked that my kids get to enjoy such luxury in the back seat. It's just, it really is incredible. So you can see on the SX, we have the rear captain's chairs. So each driver and passenger side gets their own seat with their own armrest and beautiful detail here on the seat. You can see that um, perforated leather seating surface. We've got the nice uh, contrast stitching in the seat. And then here, want me to blow your mind? This is something I never knew vehicles had, okay? These are heated seats in the rear. You're going, dude, okay, pretty typical, right? Well, what about ventilated seats? Heated or ventilated rear captain's chairs. Get out of town. I had no idea that we had that in our vehicles, but here we are, 2021, with ventilated captain's chair seats. That is just incredible. And speaking of incredible, look up and take a look at this second moonroof option in the back of the SX, a beautiful big piece of glass to let in all of that light, gives these rear passengers something to look at, and it also keeps you very like non-claustrophobic back here. It feels like there is so much more room than there really is because of that glass roof. Now, as we're on the roof, we might as well take a look because we do have this suede-like roof liner here as well. Really nice light gray to make it look nice and airy in here. And then we have the automatic climate control in the back so we can have driver, um, driver front, driver passenger, independent temperatures, and then rear passengers in the back have their own temperature as well. Now, let's say you've got little ones, like little, little ones, and they're going in a car seat here, right? So what's one of the things that you first do? You go to Canadian Tire and you buy yourself what? You buy yourself one of those blinds to keep the sun out of their eyes, but no need. We've got a built-in sunshade on each door of the back here for the little ones. So that way we keep the sun out of their eyes. How sweet. Just taking a look at the detail on this door panel here. We have this nice wood trim, but isn't that nice? Like a dark ashy wood contrasts with the black looks really sharp. And then a little sneak peek. We do have a Harman Kardon sound system back here. So, you know, give control to uh, the 13 year old. You can listen to all that mumble rap or whatever the garbage is. I can't even, oh, uh, it's just brutal. But anyway, great sound system for you and the family, of course. Now you're going, okay, so I can get into the back seat by crawling through here and then hanging a right and going into the third row, right? You could do that, absolutely. Or, dun, 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 dun. isn't that cool? One button pushes and slides forward 
and then you can get people into the back seats here. Now the third row seating, I know what you're thinking, is there enough room back there for adults? Well, let's check it out. Uh, let's hop back here. Let's move our seats back. Cause look at this, look. Here's the seat, here's my knees, here's my necks. Look at how much room we have, right? We got lots of room back here for adult passengers. Yes, these seats are on sliders, right? So this rear seat is all the way to the back. I'll slide over here just so you can see. I'm not making stuff up. Look, I still got lots of room, right? I'm about 5'10", I like to say I'm 5'11", but I got lots of room back here. I've also got a USB charger, cup holders. I can plug my phone in here, charge it, watch TV, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever we're watching. But each passenger has their own USB back here. You can see when I look up, I've got a nice big glass panoramic roof back here. I've even got rear vents back here. I've even got the plastic from when the car was new on the back back here. Let's get this off. Oh, I don't have fingernails because I bite them off. I get so nervous. Look at this. Look, the plastic from when it was new. How hilarious is that, right? Can we get much newer? Now, of course, I can slide through here to go and get out, but the easiest way to do it is pushing the button here and then it slides forward, right? I've got lots of room to get out. So let's hop out and continue our tour. But this is important. I don't usually cover the back seats a whole lot, but I think it's important to cover the back seats in the Telluride because that's what you're paying for, right? That's why there's let's be honest, an expensive price tag on this vehicle because you're buying it for the fact that you have a big family, you want everybody to be comfortable, and that's why it's important to cover all the comfort back here. It's not just, you know, two seats and call it a day because they're leather seating, that means it's luxury. No, they're air conditioned seats, they're cooled seats. Everybody's got USB ports back there. That's what it's all about. It's only beeping out because I have the keys and the keys are out of the car. Anyway, power sunroof up top that nice suede leather, or suede leather, suede headliner as well. The front seats are in fantastic shape. No rips, no tears, no stains, no burns. And then it smells fantastic. It smells like a new car in here still. We have the driver's seat is a power seat with power lumbar support. It's also a power passenger seat as well. So passengers can get themselves nice and comfortable with the power adjustments. Now, a lot of people ask me, what's the big deal about power seats other than the fact that obviously you can be lazy and just push a button? The power seats, the um, alignment, or not the alignment, but the adjustments are so minimal compared to a manual seat where you gotta go click, 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 click. The power seats are really just so minimal for adjustments so you can get yourself comfortable just right into that seat. And speaking of getting yourself just right, well, there's two drivers in the household usually, so we have two driver memory settings. That means that the mirrors and the seats will go to a uh, setting based off of who's driving the car, even based off the key fob. The nice part about that is of course, if you've got a taller driver and a shorter driver, this seat goes all the way back. So that way, when you go to get out and into the vehicle, it's at a uh, neutral position. So you don't have to try to crawl in there. If your wife is like 5'1 and you're 5'10, you don't have to try to squeeze in. It all just goes back to a neutral position. We have power folding mirrors. You can see here they fold up, hello. And then on the mirrors as well is our blind spot warning system with the collision avoidance, all that's right there. So that way, if there's someone in your blind spot, you'll see them. Nice detail on the driver's panel. Again, that Harman Kardon system there. We've got our blind spot warning is right here. You can turn that on and off. We have our lane keeping assist. You can turn that on and off. Traction control and then our power tailgate as well. So now let's hop in. Oh, FYI, sorry, little dirty you know but we've got the nice uh tux mat uh floor liners in here as well just got to get them cleaned up all right in the front let's talk about it we've got a heated leather wrap steering wheel warms up so quickly especially when we use that remote starter you're going to get in the seats are warm the steering wheel's warm your hands stay nice and warm it's fantastic on the wheel we've got our uh, bluetooth controls and our audio controls and then over here, we have our adaptive cruise controls as well as our driver information display system controls here. So adaptive cruise control, if you don't know by now, the adaptive cruise is basically you hop on the highway, there's a Toyota Corolla in the left-hand lane doing 90 kilometers an hour and you're like, bro, get out of the way. And you wanna scream 
adaptive cruise control takes all that for you it will match the speed of the car in front of you when the car slows down it moves up it goes back to that natural cruising speed they had it set at and you don't have to lose your mind because i do lose my mind now our driver information display let's zoom in here and review some of this so right now you can see we're on the digital uh, uh speedometers kind of setting i can scroll through and show you a couple different modes so that's our driving mode we have eco we have smart we have dynamic um and the smart eco mode that you can see right now basically that measures your throttle so if you're hard on the gas you're trying to move around real quick it's going to put it into more like a sport mode if you're just nice and soft on the gas it's going to put it into eco mode it's going to try to get the best possible fuel uh, economy for you or the most performance you need and that's what smart mode will do and that's a really great feature to have on the tire right to save you some money at the pumps now as we scroll down look at the average fuel economy guys 5.8 liters per kilometer no 5.8 kilometers per liter my bad 5.8 kilometers per liter. that's a weird readout usually it's the complete opposite way i'm gonna skip through that screen oh oh there we go eight point what what a bizarre readout i'm used to liters per 100 kilometers this is an 8.4 kilometers per liter i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm reading it wrong drop me a line let me know if i'm crazy um driving info and then we've got our digital speedometer again now if we push the menu button you can see now it goes to our digital compass one more time goes to our um, advanced driving assist aids and you can turn those on or off here our tension level this is the four-wheel drive monitor tire pressure monitoring system last but not least least is our uh, settings for the vehicle which you can manipulate and alter all through this setting and the first one is heads up display so i'm going to try to show you that in the windshield it's really hard to see because it's a holographic image but do you see it right there let me zoom in one more time you see that there hopefully it's not flashing that is the heads up display for the vehicle and that gives you um, a digital readout just like a hologram right in front of the hood it kind of appears so as you're driving you can see your speed you can see your turn signal everything a lot of great information is available there in the heads-up display really really cool convenient feature to have um, and then of course you can turn that on or off if you like you can make it brighter or dimmer at night it's got uh, a list of um, ways that you can change that heads-up display by using of course our controls on our wheel and our digital uh, information display for the driver there now let's shift our focus to the center console. It's gonna give you a quick pan down to see kind of how it's all laid out, but it's really quite fantastic. Let's focus, first of all, right here with our um, infotainment display. So this is set up in three kind of quadrants. We have our navigation, our radio, or our entertainment, if you will, and then we have our apps over here. So right now it's on the weather app. Now this display is very, very customizable. I'm not gonna get into exactly how we can do that because that's quite a bit of a tutorial, but nonetheless, it's easy to do um, and it's set up in a way that it's very quick when you hop in the car to choose what you wanna do. So for example, we can hit the Navi, right? And oh, there we go. And then we've got a nice navigation screen here. It actually works with Sirius Satellite Radio. So if you sign up for their service, um, it integrates with traffic as well. So that's the navigation system. Cool, right? Then we've got our audio system. Obviously, we've got XM satellite radio. We have uh, AM, FM. Yeah, that goes with that saying. No CD player in this one, of course. They've kind of gone away with that in a long time. We have Bluetooth audio streaming, but we also have, if I can go to, where are we here? Uh, see, shows how often we get a Telluride in used. Let me see here. There we go. Android app, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. So when you plug in your phone, this screen changes to be Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, whatever one you're running, obviously. Now you get all of your mobile apps available, but the most important app, okay, is obviously the ability to reply back to text messages using voice commands. So that way you keep your phone out of your hands. You can still talk to people through text like everybody does. Nobody wants to pick up the phone nowadays. I don't blame them. You can text your loved ones, whoever back, but it keeps your phone out of your hands. Now, of course, on top of that, you get all your great things like your Spotify, Apple Music, ways for navigation if you want to avoid speed traps and things like that, et cetera, et cetera. But um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is the way to use this, is the best way to do it. It keeps your phone in your hands and keeps everybody else around you safe. So let's use that. Um, we have the UVO app, which is Kia's connection app, which allows you to uh, download an app to your phone and then control the Telluride from there. There's a lot of great features that you can control 
uh, with the UVO app. So we definitely encourage you to use that. It's a great system. Uh, and you can see as we slide over here, we've got again, some more settings. I get like, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. It's uh, quite a bit here that you can access, but you can slide back and we get back to our home menu. Um, and then let's see here, what else, if we click on this. So this is your uh, weather, which is provided, I believe by, um, what do you call this? Uh, Sirius satellite radio. So again, nice little feature to have, right? And then when we put the Telluride in reverse, we have a nice, big, clear rear view camera and an around view camera. So this camera view here gives you a top down view by using four different cameras on the Telluride, two in the side view mirrors, one in the front, one in the rear. Uh, and that will allow you to back up and park within the lines nice and easily. And then of course your rear view camera, you can change the angles on that. Look at that top down view. So that way as you're backing up, you don't bump into stuff. And then we've got the side mirrors. We can see that so that way we don't go and rub our tires against the curb there. Uh, so all the different camera angles are available by doing it that way, right? And then um, I'm trying to look, oh, and then there's one last thing with regards to the camera system. So down here, if we push that, the view button, oh, it lied to me. Oh, I thought that's what did that. That doesn't do that. Well, there's a way to have it where you get the front camera so you can actually see what's in front of you. Uh, and that way, that helps you when you're pulling into a parking spot, you wanna get nice and close to the bumper in front, you can turn that on uh, so that way you don't hit the car in front of you or maybe you're parking in a really tight garage, another cool thing to do. Um, if I would have prepared better, I would have been able to show you that. Push button start, you like how I'm honest, right? <laughs> Push button start. Hey, wanna know why I do these live and I don't stop and I don't come 100% prepared? A, you're buying from a person, that's me. B, this shows you, I'm not hiding anything. This is as raw as it gets. And in the context of a used Telluride with 49,000 kilometers, you wanna make sure we're not hiding stuff. Our photos aren't edited and our videos aren't edited. So this is the car for love it or worse, right? Um, all of our buttons on the dash here as well, this is nice because a lot of people say they don't always love using touchscreen. Well, you still have buttons here and we still have the El Manuel for the uh, volume control as well. Nice brushed aluminum trim that goes right across the dash. There's that ash wood um, accent wood interior too as well, which looks really nice. Now we've got our heated steering wheel, our dual zone climate control, so driver and passenger independent temperatures, and then the rear control as well. You can lock out the rear so that way, let's say the little ones back there are just touching buttons and driving you nuts. You can lock the controls so only you control the back temperature. They can push buttons all they like. It's not going to do anything. Uh, another, another kind of cool thing to do there, right? Heated and ventilated driver and passenger seat. Of course, if the rear passengers get it, so do we. So you've got re, uh, heated and ventilated rear seats, three-stage um, heating and venting, which is fantastic. Driver and passenger side, and nice spot for it too, right? Good use of space in the center console, I love that. Nice big grab handles here, the uh, contrast stitching, the leather wrap, it looks really, really, really sharp. And then we've got that piano black here too. So I'm gonna move the shifter down out of the way, hopefully I don't forget I'm in drive. Pop this up, and we have a wireless cell phone charger. So you can drop your phone down here, it charges wirelessly really nice and easy. Plug your phone in for the Apple CarPlay, maybe the passenger uses, the wireless charger but it's all available there so that way everything stays charged up and out of the way and then that nice piano black finish down here now as we scroll down the center console you can see the nice leather wrap shifter nice little short throw shifter looks really nice got a spot for some change got our spot for our starbucks and now we come to our drive mode selector so the terrain control is very intuitive if you leave it in smart mode, smart mode is like your auto mode. And what that will do is it will basically monitor how you're driving the vehicle and put it into any one of these modes here, comfort, eco, or sport, based off how your throttle is responding. We covered that already. But we also have terrain select control. So by pushing the train now, you can see that this is all activated. Oh, there you go. Snow, mud, or sand. So if you are in sand with your Telluride, I would ask you what you're doing there, but you can throw it into sand mode so that all wheel drive system is much more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, reactive. Um, mud, same thing. I maybe could see some mud at the cottage. And then snow mode, of course, it's Ontario. Snow mode, we activate that probably eight months out of the year. 
friggin' Ontario, uh, you can throw it in snow mode. You don't have to use these. The Telluride's pretty darn intelligent. It will recognize. But if you, uh, you better recognize. Um, but if you want to use that, go right ahead and uh, select your train. Select the way you want to drive it. Mm, kind of nice feature, right? Now, just below that, we have our electronic parking brake. We've got our rear sensors. You can turn those on or off. I would guess that the person had them off when they bumped into something on the tailgate there. Um, and then auto hold. Auto hold is a fantastic feature that works with the electronic parking brake. And what that does, you come to a stoplight and the stoplight feels like it's like 32 minutes long. If you have the Telluride in auto hold, you can take your foot off the brake when you come to a complete stop. It will hold the Telluride there. Or if you're in stop and go traffic, another nice feature. You just get to a stop, uh, take your foot off the brake, it holds the car, and then when you push the accelerator, it releases it and you're back driving nice and seamless. And then we have the idle engine on off feature here. You can turn this on and it'll turn the engine off when you're at an idle stop to try to save on fuel as well. So all of these great, great, incredible features, um, I'm sure I'm missing some and I'm sure I'm gonna get some heat in the comments, but nonetheless, that is a really kind of good overview of the Telluride. Don't go away though, I still have to show you the Carfax. I'm just giving you a nice look at those rear seats for the rear passengers there. Nice big panoramic sunroof and a quick swing around here just so you can kind of see, um, you know, what it looks like from all angles here. Now, last but not least, I wanna show you this. This is the Carfax for the Telluride. So 2021 Kia Telluride, no reported accidents on the vehicle. This is what you wanna see. This is what smart buyers ask for. They ask for the Carfax so they know that what I'm telling you is verified by a third party, right? Super, super important. So with all that being said, if you're still hanging out and you're 25 minutes into this video, you must love the car. So now's the time to buy it. Go to clarentonkia.ca. You can buy this car entirely online. You can just reserve it. So that way when you come in, it's ready. You can take it out for a drive or you can come experience our amazing sales team here. We have such a fantastic way to help you buy this car. We don't sell vehicles, we help you buy vehicles. And that's the big difference with Clarington Kia. I think you're gonna love the sales experience here or the buying experience here. You're gonna love this Tire Ride. It's by far my favorite vehicle. If you've got a family and you go to the hockey, you go to the cottage, you're doing any kind of family things, this is the family vehicle for you. Your kids are gonna love it. The wife, the husband, everybody's gonna love this car. Grandma, grandpa in the back, whatever the case is, this is a fantastic find for you and the family. 49,000 kilometers, black on black. My gosh, I should buy it, but here we are. Anyway, I digress. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. We can't wait to see you here at Clarington Kia.